look, it's it's not you, it's me, okay? Um, we'll work this out. I know it's the holidays, tensions are high, but we'll work it out, okay? Hey, welcome to Tail Three Cabins. Sorry I had to see that, but um, JD and I are going through some things. Um, kind of started a little while back. I came home one day and she smelled diesel fuel on me. And I had to confess, I had to tell her what was going on. So um, it's a little difficult time. I'll talk with you more about it here. Come check it out. So it's a little bit over a year now since uh, JD and I got together and um, this was my first experience with a tractor. I never owned one before and I didn't realize just how much you could do with it. Before you know I was taking on some pretty good sized projects and um, trying to incorporate the tractor in just about anything I'm doing around the house. In many ways it surprised me just uh, what kind of things you can get accomplished with a tractor. but. Um, on the flip side, once you get used to doing all these projects, sometimes you get a little let down. And it starts you thinking a little bit, maybe there's something that has a little bit better clearance, or maybe better traction on the tires, or better lifting capacity. And before you know it, you find yourself out there online looking at other tractors, maybe taking a long way home from work and driving past the John Deere dealer. So today I'm gonna kinda go a little in depth and, and talk about you know what it might mean to upgrade, what some of the pluses are, and what some of the minuses would be. Now the 1025R would be considered the top of the line in the one series and when I want to think about upgrading, I'm thinking about going to a 2 Series. So I want to compare the top of the line of the 2 Series, which to me would be the 2038R. Now the 2032 is virtually identical to the 2038, except for horsepower. Same sizes, same capacities, um, same lift capacities, both on the loader and on the 3-point hitch. So I'm going to stick with the 2038R. Now you might think, well, there's a 2025R, but to me that is virtually identical to the 1025R except for the tires. And it seems it has a bit more lift capacity on the three-point hitch in the back. And I'm not sure why that is, because it is the same engine and it seems like um, all the hydraulics are very similar to the 1025R. But when I look at it and sit on it, it feels identical to my tractor. So to me, upgrading to that is really not an option. Okay, so what are some of the pluses? I'm here at my local Ag Pro dealer, not too far from my house. I'm sitting on the 2038R right now, and um, just sitting in here, it does feel like um, you got a larger operator station. Obviously, the tractor is larger. And so I've taken two photos. This is the 1025R, and I t took them the same distance away so you can kind of get an idea of the scale between the two. So I'm going to fade into the 2038R and back to the 1025, back to the 2038 one more time. So you can definitely see that um, the 2038 sits up higher, and it's just a hair bigger and wider. The bucket on the 2038R comes standard with a 57 inch, where my 1025R has a 53 inch. So the length from the lower arms to the front of the bucket here is 152. Now if I take the length of the 1025R from the back of the lower arms to the front of the bucket, we're looking at about 142, so about 10 inches. These aren't going to be exact measurements. These are just general. Give you an idea. Give me an idea what it's going to take to fit in my shed, how much larger it's going to be than my current 1025R. Now the height of the tires, the height of the tires on the 1025R are about 24 inches, and the height on the 2038 
is about 35, close to 36, almost a foot taller than a 1025R. So this is an important one for me, the height of the rocks. Obviously either way I'm going to have to fold them down to get them into my shed and where the fold down point is there it looks like it's around 72 to 73 inches as opposed to about 65 with the 1025R. So if we go to the chalkboard and compare some other things between the two here, some of the things that I'm um, interested in is obviously a clearance, um, more capacities like on the loader, tire size, and just the overall size which we've kind of gone over. So the 2038R is almost a thousand pounds heavier than the 1025 and this could be a concern if you have a trailer and you might have to upgrade your trailer. The horsepower of course is going to be higher on the 2038 both engine horsepower and at the PTO. Lift capacity of the loader. This is probably the one that I'm most um, interested in and at full height it's 1120 pounds for the 2038. So that gives you 300 more pounds than the 1025R. Now this is another spec that I'm interested in and that's the lift capacity of the three-point hitch which is almost double for the 2038R. The backhoe is, is probably not an item that most people purchase when they get a tractor. Um, it's one that's turned out to me to be very beneficial and very helpful with my work around the house. And I would probably want to get another one again. And from what I can tell, going from the 260B up to the 270B backhoe, through all the specs, it looks like you get about a 25 to 30% increase in power. When it comes to reach, you get about 14 more inches of reach and about 10 more inches of digging depth. And of course with all this comes an increase in price, which I'm going to cover under the minuses of upgrading to a new tractor. Now I do like the layout of the 2038R. Um, the dash does have a lot more bells and whistles on it, has a lot more trouble lights built in, has a lot more indicators. If you're used to a 1025R, everything's pretty much color coded and set up uh, very similar, so you could probably just jump in to this tractor without a large learning curve. A lot of people complain about the forward leaning ROPS on the 1025R and the 2038 have these straight ones which I think I would like a little bit better just uh, when it comes to mounting lights and, and other things on the tractor make it a little easier even like a, a sunshade. Now another thing I read is that the 270B backhoe uses the three point hitch which means you wouldn't have to take your hitch off all the time just the top arm when you take the backhoe off and on and I think I kind of like that compared to the 1025R. I never had any issues with the operator station of the 1025R and this one is laid out a little bit similar. It seems like it might be a little bit more ergonomically designed. Like if you put the armrest down and rest your arm right there and you got your loader controls right there so everything's right there at your fingertips. And that, the PTO right there, the switch right there I like rather than being on the dash of my 1025R. I'm always reaching over for it and hanging my hand over and just having it right there seems like it'd be a lot easier when you're working with that rear PTO. Now one thing I didn't think about until I was getting on and off this tractor is it is a little bit taller and it is a little bit more effort getting in and out and uh, I am getting up in years and when I do work with my tractor I jump on and off of it quite a bit during the process of using it so that could be a factor for me in the future. Another change would be having dual brake pedals one for each rear tire. I think this is what they consider the toolbox and it's just a, a smaller area. It also houses the uh, DC adapter port. Uh, fuel capacity is about, holds about three gallons more diesel fuel than my 1025R does, which is a little over five gallons of diesel. So each person is different. We all have our needs and, and wants and that's just a little brief overview of the 2038R and some of the um, advantages or pluses you would get if you were to upgrade from the one series. Um, my next episode I'm going to cover some of the minuses if I were to upgrade and there are minuses not just in the pocketbook so I appreciate you watching these videos hope to subscribe hope you enjoy them please have a good holiday with you and your families have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year take care oh and keep an eye on us